Picking an appropriate sugar glider cage is very, very important as you're gonna have this pet for hopefully 12 to even 15 years with good care and their captive environment in the cage setup is gonna be one of the most important things that will help promote longevity and well-being in your sugar glider. Our recommendations generally include getting the biggest cage that you can afford, have room for in your home, and that you can keep clean and sanitary and well-maintained. The sugar glider cage needs to be big enough to have multiple perches, platforms and levels, and should have an appropriate amount of hammocks, toys, perches and bedding, as well as certain types of toys that sugar gliders may want to climb in and through so that they have a stimulating and enriching environment. So other than the type of cage that you have set up in your home, here's an example of two different types of temporary or travel cages. This type of cage would be most appropriate as a travel cage to take your sugar glider to and from the veterinarian, to take them out if you had to take them with you on short trips, or basically to provide a safe environment that would allow you to transport them, but it's certainly way too small for them to ever have to stay for extended periods of time. This cage as well is on the smaller size. It might be the very bare minimum appropriate size for short-term housing for a sugar glider, or it may be appropriate if you were to acquire a pair of young sugar gliders as the type of cage that they may graduate from into a larger cage. You can see some of the examples in this cage that are appropriate are a large door, platforms that you see here with ramps, an appropriate hammock type bed that sugar gliders like, rope perches, as well as different types of toys and different types of um, hanging accoutrements that will allow them to play and tug and, and exhibit some more of their normal behaviors. An appropriate cage for your home may look somewhat like this, but ideally would be larger than this so that it can promote enough of an environment so that the sugar gliders could have enough exercise, so they would have the opportunity to climb and move around, and also to enable you to provide an enriching environment. So it's recommended when choosing a cage for your sugar glider that you get the largest one that you have room for and can keep clean, and also one that's going to suit the needs of your sugar glider colony. Thank you.